make this gear indicator, we'll need an 8x8 dot matrix display, an Arduino Nano, 3D printed case, wires and M3 nuts and bolts. The wires can be plugged directly into the display pins, although to make the display neater and fit into the case, we'll need to trim or remove the five pins. Carefully remove the pins, then clean away any leftover solder with solder wick. Trim and strip the ends of the five wires and then solder to the terminals on the display. With the wires soldered to the display, shorten the length and separate each wire. Strip the ends of the wires and then tin with solder. Next, begin to solder the five wires from the display to the nano board with the following connections. The VCC wire to the five volt terminal, the ground wire to the ground terminal, the digital in to pin three, CS to pin four, and CLK to pin five to complete the wiring. On the back of the 3D printed case, insert the four M3 nuts, then turn the case over and install the Arduino Nano with the USB port in the small opening on the case. Next, install the front cover over the matrix display. At this stage, we can add the bolts to finish the assembly or add a tinted Perspex screen to give a more professional finish. With the Perspex screen in place, install and tighten the M3 bolts to complete the display. Plug the display into a free USB port on a PC then download and install the latest SimHub software. Once downloaded and installed, open the SimHub application. At the top left hand corner, click on the three lines to expand the menu. Click on Arduino Display and then click on My Hardware. To set up the sketch, click on Open Arduino Setup Tool. Then rename the new device and scroll down to Max7221 Matrix. To enable, type 1 into the box and then set the numbers to match the display terminals we soldered to the nano board. Next select the communication port and the nano board from the list and click on upload to Arduino. With the upload successful, the newly set up device will be displayed under detected hardware. The brightness and the fonts on the display can be adjusted in the menu. The gear indicator display is now ready to use in your favourite sim racing game.